So, hello guys, um, in the last video we end up here, uh, structural analysis, so now we are going to make this structural analysis, okay, let me switch to robot, let me go to tools, menu, job preferences, and I'm going to switch up the option on automatic freezing of results of structural calculations, okay. To structural analysis first and on the work parameters select find meshing type on work parameters on the meshing I'm going to set a fine meshing type and switch on the automatic mesh adjustment or the iterative adjusting of finite element mesh okay usually you should turn off this one on cinematic constraints in incoherent points okay i'm going to leave it on if robot uses uh, kinematic constraints he will tell me so i'm going to set this as okay very good and start the calculations of our structure it's generating the finite element mesh and there we are okay so now let's Let's see the results presentation in the form of maps. Let me switch to results and maps. I'm going to maximize this. I always like to maximize this. I'm going to choose live load one. On the tail tab over here, activate the displacement Z option to check. This will activate visualization of displacements for individual surface finite elements in the local coordinate system. These are the displacements that are actually perpendicular to the element surface. Okay, apply and you may see that the displacement is bigger in the middle. You may see that, okay, it is in centimeters. Very good. Now I want to see that for the moving Viable over here, and you may also check that is component number two of four component. And on the deformation tab over here, I'm going to set this as active, and you will be able to see the displacement of this for the moving vehicle. Okay also for this low live load three you may check whatever displacement you, you want okay now let's create an animation i'm going to load menu i'm going to choose the select case component over here you can access this just clicking over here and now i'm going to click on the animation and i'm going to accept this press the start button and there you go with your animation not the best angle let me close that and stop that for a while let me close this i think this will be better okay start let's see the animation there you go with your animation close the animation and switch off the options on displacement and the options that we had previously okay apply displacing i don't want the um, deformations to be active so i'm going to close this so now uh, in the next video we will work on structure member design on the steel design of the various members doing optimization of the members